Hi there. Guten Morgen. Hi. Guten Morgen. Haha. <laughs> Hello everyone. This is Harry. How's your day? This is the part three. I think the last parts for this tour. Chinese uh, propaganda postcards. We ended the last time somewhere here. Let me put my camera in the best location to show you as much as possible. Is that good? Let me know. This one on top has Chimamao Mao accompanied by Chuan Lai and the four other people who are the Gan of Four, the famous Gan of Four. Each one holds a red book. The quotations of Chairman Mao, except, except for Chairman Mao himself. They are standing at the gate tower in the Tiananmen Square. This is uh, the 18th anniversary to commemorate the founding of the People's Republic of China, that is in 1967, in the middle of the Cultural Revolution. So the Red Book is the symbol of the Cultural Revolution. It began in the year 1966. By the way, you know what? The Gan of Four were originally from different parts of China. Two from Shandong province, one from Shanghai area, but not Shanghai exactly. And another one from Northern China. But you know what? All the four members before the Cultural Revolution, for many years, they worked, lived, and uh, engaged in their activities around the revolution in China or in Shanghai. So just a few days ago, I joked with my wife. Let me play some music. <laughs> just a random music. If you don't mind. The other day, I told my wife that uh, actually, yes, you know what? I noted that uh, the Gan of Four all actually somehow came from Shanghai. And also, I told my wife that uh, uh, I just found that actually in the uh, olden days of Shanghai, the most uh, representing figures from Shanghai for China were people like uh, gangsters. There's one famous name called Du Yuesheng together with uh, Huang Jinrong, Zhang Xiaoling, Shanghai gangsters. While here, the Gan of Four, they were also kind of uh, mobsters, let's say. Well, the difference here is uh, those uh, gangsters in olden, uh, in olden day Shanghai, they were considered, you know, the typical gangsters like mafia with some class. Well, here the mobsters, the Gan of Four, mm, they were kind of uh, more nonsensical ones. This is the difference. <laughs> and uh, I told my wife that, you see, you are from Anhui province and today a lot of people kind of a look down on the rural area of uh, Anhui province. I mean, the Chinese people in China. I told her that actually Anhui province produced uh, some famous uh, scholars with uh, the 
great visions, combining Chinese culture and、uh, Western cultures like Hu Shi and、uh, Tao Xingzhi, the scholars I mentioned、uh, in the past few days on different tours. All right, let's move on because、uh, this is part three. I don't want to waste your time.、Uh, but anyway, I would like to share some interesting、uh, facts and、uh, insights, other than what you can see in this book. Oh, will you be on YouTube link? Yes,、uh, Cornelia. Thank you for asking. And I will. Yes, I'm looking for opportunities to continue my videos and tours.、Uh, Um, some other virtual tour platforms. I'm trying to put down new routes, but、uh, had has not been confirmed. I haven't got any account yet, so I will try. All right, let let you know then. Here, this one says,、uh, "All will be directed by Mao Zedong thoughts." This one. And this one says, "July." The third and the July the twenty fourth announcement is Chairman Mao's great strategic layout. I think you know this is what I mentioned last time. We actually stopped here. All right, let's move on to the right part of this page. World people unite to attack continuously <clears throat> against our common enemy, U.S. imperialism and their followers. You know what? Later. That line would take a dramatic and drastic turn. You will see. Down with U.S. imperialism and Russian revisionism. Nineteen sixty-nine. Do you know the fact that that around nineteen sixty-nine, the end of、uh, the nineteen sixties. China's relationship with the、uh, then Soviet Union deteriorated to the most serious point. So much so that there were conflicts, escalating from minor ones to something really serious, with a lot of、uh, soldiers injured at the border. And eventually, the Soviet Union leadership. Decided to threaten China with their nuclear weapons. Actually, I mentioned this a few times. This is why China, in the beginning of 1970s, changed its line 180 degrees, and Nixon came to visit China soon after that. We'll see that. All right. Uh, grasp revolution and promote production. Grasp. Long live the great Marxist-Leninist Mao Zedong thought. Yeah. Three great thinkers down the line. Karl Marx, Lenin, and、uh, Chairman Mao. This one says: Revolutionary rebels unite. To carry out proletarian cultural revolution to the end. Just have a look at the bearing emanated from those posters. All right, have a look. This one, undefeatable Mao Zedong thought shines revolutionary art stage. This lady holding the red book. Jiang Qing, then the wife of Chairman Mao, one of the Gang of Four members. She wasn't born in Shanghai, but she 
became famous in Shanghai, and she was an actress. She then was the the torch holder on the stage for the thoughts of Chairman Mao. Mao Zedong thoughts is the peak of a uh, contemporary Marxism and Leninism. Yes, in China, our language, we have an abbreviation to refer to these uh, five people. That is a Ma En Lie Si Mao, Ma, Marx, En, Engels. Here the second figure, Lie Lenin. Si Stalin, Mao, Mao Zedong, Chairman Mao, and also a fun fact I want to share with you that is that in China among the older generation, when I was a child, when I was in my young age, I heard people sometimes say that、uh, when they refer to people. Who just passed away? That they actually go to report their arrival was Karl Marx or Marx for just a short. Yes, this is actually a colloquial expression in Chinese, but more used by the older generation. When someone dies, other people would say, "Oh, he or she goes to report his or her arrival with Karl Marx." Thank you, Liz. And you know what? This is a、uh, very similar to another Western expression, of course, but similar in just one way or another. That is、uh, to meet St. Peter at pearly gates. Well, in Chinese, that is、uh, to report your arrival with Karl Marx. A long, long life to Chairman Mao. 万岁万岁万万岁 the Chinese words, and one here means ten thousands. Yesterday, I told you that in the name of、uh, the village I live in has that character. That means a ten thousands, and the second character means、uh, like years, ten thousand years of life, and this is a、uh, the cheer. People in feudal China also called when they met an emperor. This is one hundred percent true. One 岁万岁万万岁 This is what people shout from their mouth, and in the same time kneeling down on their on the ground when they met an emperor. It's very interesting here. Long live Chairman Mao's revolutionary literature and art line. There's a quote here by Chairman Mao, which says, "To make literature and arts a good and organic component of revolutionary machine." To unite people, to educate people, help people in fight against、uh, enemies, jointly, single-mindedly, to attack enemies, eliminate enemies with powerful weapons. That's why they said、uh, to emperors. That's right. I am exactly. Yeah, in feudal China, when someone, usually、uh, an official, met an emperor in the court, maybe three details,、uh, you know, just、uh, come up、uh, to the mind of、uh, ordinary Chinese people. That is the、uh, first one. That guy knees on the ground. 
Secondly, he calls 万岁万岁万万岁 meaning ten thousand years old, ten thousand years old, ten thousand years old, three times. And then, even before actually that guy really you know kneels, he also needs to dust the sleeves to show that you are sincere and、uh, you come clean to the emperor without any impurities in your mind. So before you kneel down, you first uh, uh, you know、uh, whip your sleeves to show that you are clean, something like this, and. People especially did that in Qing Dynasty.、Uh, before Qing,、uh, I'm not so sure as、uh, far as I can tell now. I try to recall, but definitely in Qing Dynasty, this was people did. All right. Red detachment of women. Look, and、uh, just now I talked about Jiang Qing holding the banners. For the people in the art circle to、uh, join the revolutions, and here is a, a template piece of、uh, art, Chinese、uh, ballet. The name of、uh, this、uh, drama or this、uh, ballet drama is called Red Detachment of Women, 1971. That is famous ballet, yeah. That's right. This one. Long live Marxism, Leninism, and、uh, Mao Zedong thought. Nineteen seventy-one. They united the fronts of people from different countries in the world. Under Marxism, Leninism, and、uh, Mao Zedong. Oh, this one,、uh, completion of、uh, Zhibu Railway is great victory of、uh, Mao Zedong thought. Yeah, and this is a a poster created to celebrate the construction of a railway in northern Anhui Province, and that railway was not very long. It was completed in 1969, one year before the poster was made. The first railway in northern Anhui Province, an area with a、uh, six million people, a great victory. Nineteen sixty-nine, the railway was built for six million people. Before that, no railway. This one says. Liu Shaoqi, Deng Xiaoping, and Tao Zhu get out of the Central Committee. Yeah, you know what?、Uh, Liu Shaoqi, someone who was once the Chinese、uh, president for a short period of the time, was、uh, persecuted with、uh, unimaginable humiliation during the Cultural Revolution. Well, Deng Xiaoping was luckier, and、uh, he went through three ups and three downs. So here, obviously, he was in one of the down movement together with Liu Shaoqi and、uh, Tao Zhu.、Uh, this is a a misspelling. It should be Z H U Tao Zhu. Well, here it says Tao Zhu. It's not exactly right. Okay, the next one is March forward, holding high grade revolutionary criticizing flag. Yeah, cultural revolution, mainly about uh, criticism, uh, persecutions, flushing out uh, the enemies within the country who are on the side of uh, the right. For capitalist enemies. All right, here, a、uh, red guards will beat down U.S. imperialism and Russian revisionism intentionally. Yeah, Russian revisionism. 
Khrushchev in the beginning was uh, in good terms with Chairman Mao, but later their personal relationship went sour after many different exchanges. And here in China, that was identified as uh, Russian revisionism, meaning Khrushchev deviated himself from the line of Stalin, the line of uh, the complete communism. He went too close with the United States. He even criticized the Stalin or wrong for Chinese people, for Chairman Mao. Grasp revolutionary criticizing. I'm not sure if this translation is right, but it does make sense, I believe. Grasp here means uh, press ahead with, or it can also mean waste no time in doing something. Hurry up to do something. Yeah, two different meanings in Chinese, but quite similar. Learn from Da Qing in industry, Da Zhai in agriculture, and PLA in whole country. Yeah, some other templates in different sectors for people to learn from. Firmly support agriculture. The red book is the sole symbol of the cultural revolution. If you want me to just list the one, that is it. This is a, a very influential event in China that is uh, what we literally call Shang Shan Xia Xiang in Chinese. Meaning going up to the mountain and come down to the country. First of all, then the youth didn't have a chance to go to schools no education, bad, no schools, teachers were persecuted, dangerous, no schools. And uh, the young people were mobilized to go to the mountains, the villagers to work, to reform themselves, to go to the places where they were needed. This is the title of this poster that says, go to countryside and the boarding area were most needed by motherland. Yeah. And here, Shanghai, Shanghai, this train is bound for somewhere from Shanghai. This one here on the left. Each reactionary, revisionist line of art and literature. Have a look at what people are doing. This is uh, the stereotypical posture for people during the Cultural Revolution when they cr criticize others. That is, uh, on one hand, I mean, in one hand, they all hold a red book and with the other hand pointing at the enemy on the ground. The most visual representation in people, in their struggles. All right, here, learn from worker, farmer, and soldier, and combine with them. Yes. The main forces of our proletariat, farmers, soldiers, and uh, workers.
and uh, also the certain group of uh, intellectuals. Don't forget that, but the certain group. All right, hiking and camping is fine. There's a uh, this writing on the bag. I think yeah, Mao's quote: "Heighten the alert, protect the motherland." What is the red book? Red book is the quotation book of Mao's sayings. It's a small book with a red cover, and uh, what you can see on the cover in the front is just uh, the Chinese uh, characters, meaning the quotations of Mao to Dong, Chairman Mao, the quotations of Chairman Mao, and uh, you know what? Actually, that book. Small though, I believe is actually the most printed books in the world, if not the most, one of the most for sure. Top three, that's for sure. In terms of the number, all right. Struggle meeting, nineteen sixty-seven. Yeah, Revolutionary Rebellion, Smashing Cultural Ministry C Committee. Four people with their surnames here, labeled Luo Pen Lu Yang. Four communist uh, members in leadership then were criticized and crushed. Of course, later they got. After the Cultural Revolution, if they were still alive, they got rehabilitated. This is what usually happened. All right, Mao here. This character in Chinese means uh, allegiance or loyalty. It says, "Be endlessly loyal to great leader Chairman Mao." Struggle meeting, yeah, struggle meeting. Struggle meeting refers to an event where people, a lot of people, just、uh, come to criticize and persecute and humiliate people, the class enemies, like those people here. There are different ways to do it. This one says, "Army and people would never be defeated once they are of one mind." Or、oh, the other way to translate, as I'm trying now, more literally, that is,、uh, when army and people are united、uh, in one mind. Let's see who can defeat us in this world. This is a Nanjing Yangtze River bridge. It was built in 1969. It took about ten years to complete this bridge. Nanjing is the capital of Jiangsu Province, also the capital of China in、uh, Republic period between 1912 and 1949. The second bridge in China. For both trains and cars, double level, double deck bridge, on above the Yangtze River. Nanjing Yangtze Bridge is the great victory of Mao Zedong. Thought here, we must liberate Taiwan. This one, nineteen sixty-nine. Long live. The overall victory of the proletariat cultural revolution, and that one, the soldier holding the red books, Mao Zedong thought cultivates new people, the new generation.
Look at this bearing. Such an uniformity. I remember Chinese people saying in the early 1970s, uh, if uh, they didn't carry a red book everywhere, they could get killed. Uh, <laughs> Mm, something, yeah, close, very close to the truth, but, you know, we don't have to be very uh, particular in words, like uh, uh, people just got killed if they didn't carry at some moments. Uh, but, you know, uh, let's try to take away the spirits out of what you said, Ion. That's, uh, uh, that's uh, the point. So you actually hit the point. But just uh, don't get bogged down on the literal words sometimes. But that's the spirit, the right spirit. Okay. Uh, high, hold high the great and flag, the great red flag of Mao Zedong thought to carry the proletarian cultural revolution through to the end. That shows uh, people's determination to carry out the proletarian great cultural revolution to flush out all the class enemies labeled by the people up there. Maybe one, maybe just a few. Just do it. Be loyal. That's it. Okay. You know what? This is a, a next stage. 1972 to 1976. As I'm showing you all the posters on two pages here, let me also read the general introduction here, given by the editor of this book. It says, the principal objective of artworks created during this period was to encourage people to read more Marxist books. Normal life was partially restored. Deng Xiaoping was released by Mao and worked for the government again. U.S. President uh, Nixon was invited to visit China, and the production of anti-American propaganda posters ceased. However, 1974 saw the publications criticizing Lin Biao and uh, Confucius, and it was followed a couple of years later by establishment of a rightist trend by Deng Xiaoping in early 1976. A great number of posters were issued during this time. Mao died eventually in September 1976, and his power-crazed wife, Jiang Qing, along with uh, the other three members of the Gang of Four, were arrested. Hua Guofeng became the chairman. The curtain finally came down on the 10th long cultural revolution. 1976 was the year filled with key political events, and a range of uh, diverse themes were created, were covered by propaganda posters. These were teenagers back then. Uh, yes, yes, they are getting old. They are aging. <laughs> Something you have to really take into consideration in understanding the present day China. All right. Hello, Joe. Thank you for coming. Uh, this is uh, this one here. Carry out well the people's uh, war against the Ling Biao and Confucius. Maybe you wonder why Confucius, yeah, and why Ling Biao. Mm, let's say, as I said, this is a tour for me to maybe just uh, throw out some minnows for you to catch the whales for yourself. But anyway, uh, generally speaking, my personal interpretation here is that during the Cultural Revolution, people were out of whack, basically. So they may, you know, they might target at once Confucius and uh, Ling Biao, Chou Enlai, any other names uh, at one time or another. Kind of, uh, you know, nonsensical. As a lot of uh, the things then were controlled to some degrees by mobsters in such an environment. All right, this is uh, the extreme of uh, such revolution.
Sometimes, you know, just the people, some captains just found something and uh, in their whimsical minds, and uh, then they initiated a campaign to count, to counter, you know, different subjects quite randomly sometimes. And what is also very funny that uh, I try to ask some of the people who were then young during the Cultural Revolution about what really happened then. And they told me that the people then, uh, the masses, they kind of just blindly followed what was told to them. When there was, a, for example, a criticism campaign or meeting, people just followed. And then people could just point their fingers at uh, anyone with uh, any signs they identified as a reactionary to make that person suffer. It could happen just like that. No reasons, no rationalities, not at all. Just nonsensical. No resistance to the wrong actions, no. In one way or another, no. All right, here, grasp a revolution and promotes production to do a better job in all respects. People are united. And here, this is, a, uh, this is the watershed moment. Civil ball carries friendship. Here, the civil ball refers to ping pong ball. And uh, China, after the Soviet Union, threatened uh, to nuke China. The olive branch to the United States. When there was a delegation of the table tennis played in Japan. They were later invited to play games in China, the foundation of uh, the restoration of China and the U.S. relationship. Nixon visited soon after that with, uh, of course, a lot of uh, groundwork laid by the diplomats on both sides, like Kissinger in the U.S., right? The symbolic one. All right, this one, worker, farmer, and soldier are main force in criticizing Lin Biao and the Confucius. By the way, Lin Biao uh, was once uh, appointed by Chairman Mao as the successor. But due to kind of, uh, you know, suspicion, he uh, was later, <laughs> let's say, let's use the official accounts. He later suffered an accident and died in a plane crash on the way to Mongolia. Bomb capitalist headquarter, proletarian cultural revolution series too. Here, criticize Lin Biao and the Confucius to prevent uh, revisionism. Ping pong diplomacy, exactly. Poor and the low middle class farmers should be the pioneers in criticizing Lin Biao and Confucius. People are talking. A speech. This one criticized Confucius to carry out family planning. Nineteen seventy four. Look, the policy of uh, family planning in China was officially announced and carried out later than that. In nineteen 
1980s, mid-1980s, let's say. But of course, there was uh, the initiative that came earlier. Family planning. Of course, actually, basically during Mao's era, uh, people were encouraged to reproduce more children as, uh, you know, as the saying goes, people are the power. So this is interesting to carry out family planning. Continue to criticize Confucius for revolution against the capitalist return. This man is writing something with uh, the writing brush. And this reminds me of uh, another form similar to the posters with pictures that is called big character posters in which people use the Chinese characters, the text, to attack other people with no images, with no pictures. Actually, the big character poster to me looks even more horrible <laughs> because it's so specific. It's right on your face. It's pointing your names. Carry out the struggle against the rightist uh, through to the end. Yeah, determination again. Carry out fight against the re-attack of rightists. This one says, people are bound to overcome nature. They believe in manpower. Manpower is everything. In defiance of nature, reasons, no, not important, manpower, everything. Let's have a look at the subtitle here in two rhymed sentences, let's say. It means in English, the collapse of the world is nothing. A new world can be drawn by your hands. Great Victory and People's Festival. Oh, 1977. Wow. After the Cultural Revolution, that is. Cultural Revolution lasting for 10 years, started in 1966 and uh, ended in 1976. A great victory now, People's Festival. Nineteen seventy six. Believe it or not, it's really a special year for Chinese uh, modern history. In that year, in September, Chairman Mao passed away. In the same year before Chairman Mao, Zhou Enlai passed away. Still in the same year, the most... Uh, the highest ranking Chinese uh, military figure, 
called Judah, also passed away. All happened in one year. And there was another event that happened in the year 2000, no, 1976. That is the Tangshan earthquake that claimed lives of uh, hundreds of thousands of people all in one year. And within one month after Mao passed away, the four members of the Ghana Four were arrested, which was uh, the symbol to end the Cultural Revolution. Just think about it. Think about it. All right, smash Ghana Four. Zhejiang is hopeful. Zhejiang is the name of a province. Today's most affluent province in China. I'm talking about province. Shanghai is a municipality. Hong Kong is an SAR, special administrative region, different ideas. In provinces, Zhejiang is the most affluent. It's a coastal province today with a lot of uh, factories and trades with uh, different countries. Criticize Ghana Four and the revolutionary production march forward. Didn't the universities open right after that? I am. Uh, I didn't really live through that period. I was born in 1985. I can not answer your question with a certainty, but uh, based on my observation and experience, I think, uh, yes, schools were restored gradually after that. Maybe this is also a safe answer. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how soon schools got uh, restored. Maybe that's a too specific question. All right, but this is what I can say. People started to go to schools, universities, colleges to receive education gradually, yes. It was such a trauma that it could take years for people to recover from, that's for sure. Even dozens of years, even <laughs> more. All right. But of course, didn't happen just uh, out of nothing. That's also important to point out. Criticize Ghana Four of their crime to seize leadership of the party with anger. Yeah, at one point during Cultural Revolution, Cho Lai was also targeted at No one was safe. No one was safe. No one was safe. From top to bottom. No one. This is my literal word. Strike gain of four. Children are doing it here. Revolutionary Committee is fine. This one. Practice training for the building of the great socialist uh, motherland. Bodybuilding. Carry out birth control for revolution. Wow. 1974. Okay, still in the Cultural Revolution. That's why.
you know, people like Deng Xiaoping and others were targeted at during the Cultural Revolution. That means that during the Cultural Revolution, there were some voices uttered towards what was right, even in the slightest sense. Maybe that's something we can use to explain about some of the, you know, uh, proposals that as we look back now, should not, should not have been possible to happen. All right, change school to the tool for the proletarian dictatorship. Yeah, this is an important notion here. Proletarian dictator, dictatorship. Hmm. All right, women holds half of the sky. This is a, the quote of Chairman Mao. Another one. Hmm. Socialist new things developed toward, forward in struggle. This is a uh, 1976. All right, the last part of this book, after the Cultural Revolution for sure, 1977 to 1979. And in the year 1979, Deng Xiaoping was in power and uh, he visited Southern China, Guangdong province, and he point his finger at Shenzhen for the direction of new China after Mao. That is open and free market. So 1979 is the symbolic year for China with uh, the initial development of Shenzhen first, actually even before Shanghai. Deng Xiaoping inspected the Shanghai in 1990 in which he proposed and emphasized the importance of uh, the development of Shanghai, especially in Pudong area, the eastern side of uh, the city of the Huangpu River. During this period, Mao's successor, Hua Guofeng, this is Hua Guofeng, he was uh, appointed by Chairman Mao as uh, the successor. And before that, he was uh, unknown. He was unknown until he was uh, just appointed as the successor. During this period, Mao's successor, Hua Guofeng, persisted with Mao's leftist theories and published a lot of posters featuring Hua himself. At the same time, the subject matter for posters was turning away from revolution and towards modernization. In 1979, Deng Xiaoping came into power and uh, proceeded to bring order out of chaos. He officially declared the abolition of a big character poster, including propaganda posters. All propaganda materials were deleted from government organization and sent to the paper recycling factory. This is the main reason why so many or so few original po propaganda posters re remain today and thus become so precious. By the way, uh, I told you in the first part of this tour that this book was given to me by uh, the owner of a small private museum called the Propaganda Post Art in Shanghai. And you can still find it today in the basement in a building of uh, in the French concession area of Shanghai. So that Shanghai man who owns uh, the museum, he actually, yeah, has uh, those uh, physical uh, posters and big character posters and a lot other materials. Uh, I believe he, back years ago, had a good connection with people owning those uh, paper recycling factories. That's why he was able to, and he has been able to collect all, all so many posters. And as you know, a lot of the posters were actually created in Shanghai at that time. All right. Follow Chairman, uh, follow Chairman Hua 
to march forward under the banner of Chairman Mao. So it was Hua Guofeng who was in power first after the Cultural Revolution. And the Gan of Four were arrested when he was the leader, of course. Uh, but of course, there were some negotiations, some events happening between him and uh, Zhou Enlai, uh, no, and Deng Xiaoping. That's why Deng Xiaoping came into power soon after that. And he stepped back. People after that hadn't heard much about him. All right. I am at ease to trust you. This is Mao and Hua Guofeng. I am at ease to trust you. Follow Chairman Hua, the wise leader and uh, marshal, to march forward. Chairman Hua and uh, Mao in his youth, the image. Chinese uh, People's Liberation Army is people's uh, army built, led, and directed personally by Chairman Mao. Thank you, Sibiria. Uh, hard work can overcome the difficulties in science. Nineteen seventy nine. Contribute your youth to the four modernizations. The four modernizations are in science, agriculture, industry, and military defense. Or maybe this is military defense, science, whatever. Strive for the fulfillment of the general task of a new era. 1978. Persist in late marriage to contribute youth to the party. Nineteen seventy-nine. Wow. Thank you, Diane. This one. Move forward with fast speed to build and defend motherland. Long live, long live the People's Republic of China. Take flight, new China's youngsters. The boys and girls are riding a spacecraft towards the moon, where Chinese people traditionally believe the goddess Chang'e dwells with uh, her rabbits and, of course, some boys and girls in heaven. Take the space shuttle to travel in the universe, 1979, yes. China's first nuclear Atomic bomb was tested successfully in 1960s. 
And the first uh, satellite was launched successfully in 1970s. All right, see, it's done. It's over. Huh. Just in time. Yes, we did it. Wow. <laughs> what do you think? This is a a book that was published in 19 no, in 2011. This is the name of uh, the owner of the museum, a Shanghainese called Yang Peiming, director, Shanghai Propaganda Post Art Center. There is uh, the website of this uh, museum you can find on the internet. Just a search, Propaganda Post Art Center, maybe also Shanghai, yes. There's their website. And I think it's uh, this man and also his wife and his daughter who uh, maintain their business. It's their family business. <laughs> Great. Yeah, before we finish, let me just show you some pictures of uh, what the big character posters were like during the Cultural Revolution. Look, all the posters with uh, big Chinese characters written on it. Everywhere, overwhelmingly everywhere. People were treated like this even some high-level officials. Over one night, the fate of uh, the life was totally turned. And this is called jet. This form of uh, persecution is called jet. Look. The arms are fixed backwards to form a jet. Yeah, this is history. Don't forget the history. EB, Shanghai Propaganda Arts. Yes, maybe that's the one. Uh... I found their posters, uh, yeah, a lot in the museum, but on the internet, uh, quite small to show. I don't know, you can check for yourself. At least there is a website for you to look back on if you are interested in. And maybe there are more. Okay, guys, thank you for this journey with me. <laughs> and, uh, I will let you know when I have uh, my new routes put down on different platforms. And right now it's mainly YouTube and I will see if I can do anything more than just uh, publishing the videos on YouTube. Of course, on other platforms, I have uh, just tried to seek opportunities on, for example, world virtual tours, and uh, rickshaw virtual tours, etc. And I will let you know when they are all settled. So thank you, and uh, that's it for today. <laughs> yeah, let's live and learn. Take the history as a mirror. Do you have this saying in your country? Yeah, we have that in Chinese. Okay. Bye for now. Could we see you before you leave? <laughs> All right, Joe, thank you. Uh, yes, sure. 
let me show you. It's a sunny day. I now live in the countryside of China, in Anhui province. The sunshine is quite strong over there. Yeah, you have seen me now. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, thank you. Uh, see you next time. Have a good one.